Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Are you ready for a skills check? Let's make it a maze game. You will program your Ozobot to move in different directions following the positions of your hands. Ozobot will need you to take the lead as you help it correctly move through a maze. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, a pencil, markers, a blank piece of paper, and the Oza Blockly editor. Today we'll be working in level three. In today's lesson, you will create a maze for your bot to move through. Use loops and conditionals to program your bot to move through the maze by responding to different hand positions, and use a variable to program your bot to celebrate successfully moving through the maze. To prepare for the skills check, let's review the concepts. Sequence, loop, conditional, and variable as they apply to computer science. A sequence is an ordered set of instructions. Here's an example. The sequence of this program tells Ozobot to move forward two steps, spin left, display a yellow colored LED, and play a happy sound. A loop repeats a sequence of instructions. Here's the same code with a loop block. The sequence would repeat two times. A conditional performs different outcomes or actions depending on whether a certain condition is true or false. Here's the same code now with a conditional. The program will only run if or when an object is sensed in front of the bot. Finally, a variable is a value that can change depending on a condition or information passed to the program. Here's the original sequence, now controlled by a variable, the color of the surface. Let's get started. Let's begin by making the maze your bot will travel through. You are going to draw a pathway for your bot to fit inside and move along. Your pathway should take up most of the space on your paper and have a clear beginning and a clear end. Watch me as I draw my maze. I'll be using a black marker, but you can use pencil. I will begin with the first side of my pathway. Now I will draw the second side of my pathway. Let's make sure my bot fits in my pathway. Finally, I will choose a different color marker to make a finish line at the end of my maze. I will draw three lines of the same color across the maze pathway at the end of my maze to make a finish line. Now it's your turn to make your maze. Your maze does not need to be the same shape as mine. Can you use your pencil and markers to make a maze for your bot to move through? Remember to make the pathway wide enough for your bot to fit inside and to draw a finish line at the end. Time to start coding. You will tell your bot to move forward continuously over and over again whenever the program is running. Open Oso Blockly and select level three. To begin, go to Movement in the Block panel. Click and drag a Move Forward Distance One Step Medium block into your workspace. Then use the drop-down menu to change the number of steps from 1 to 2. This will tell your bot to move a greater distance at one time. Next, go to Loops in the Block panel. Click and drag a Repeat Forever block and wrap it around the Move Forward block. The forever loop will tell the bot to continue to move when the program is running. Can you use code to program your bot to move forward two steps forever? You will use conditionals in your code to program your bot to turn when it senses your hands. If the bot senses your hand in front of it, it will turn right. If the bot senses your hand behind it, it will turn left. Go to sensors in the block panel. Click an if object in front do block and drag it inside the loop block below the move forward block. 
Next, go to movement. Click a rotate slight left block and drag it inside the conditional block after the word do. Then use the drop down menu to change slight left to right. Now go back to sensors. Click if an object behind do block and drag it inside the loop block below the if object in front do block. Then go to movement. Click on a rotate slight left block and drag it inside the conditional block after the word do. Finally, use the drop down menu to change slight left to left. Can you use code to program your bot to turn following the position of your hands? Time to test your code. Your bot should always move forward unless it senses your hands. If it senses your hand in front, it should turn right. If it senses your hand in back, it should turn left. Let's watch my bot in action. I'm going to put my bot at the beginning of the maze and connect my bot to Oza Blockly. When I click Run Program, my bot begins to move forward. I will now use my hands to tell the bot when and where to turn to get through the maze. Can you run your program and use your hands to guide your bot through the maze? Were you able to get the bot through the maze? If you found any bugs in your program, fix them before moving on. Now you will use a variable to program your bot to celebrate when it reaches the end of the maze successfully. Go to logic in the block panel. Click if surface color is do block and drag it inside the loop below the if object behind do block. Then click on the colored box and change it to match the color you used for your finish line. Next, go to sounds. Click and drag a play happy block inside the conditional after the word do. Now go to movement. Choose a spin left block and drag it below the play happy block. Finally, go to light effects. Choose a light effect block and drag it below the spin left block. Can you use code to program your bot to celebrate when it reaches the finish line? Are you ready to play your maze game? Put your bot back on the start of your maze, then run your program to tell your bot to start moving. Use your hands to guide your bot to turn correctly through the maze. When your bot reaches the finish line, it should celebrate. Can you run your program and use your hands to guide your bot through the maze? This time, when your bot gets to the end, it should celebrate a job well done. Let's check your work. Do you have a maze that your bot can move through? Does your program tell your bot to move forward forever? Does your program have three conditional blocks? Are the conditional statements complete? Does your bot turn the correct direction when it senses your hand in front or behind it? Does your bot sense the color of your finish line and celebrate when it moves over it? If you're looking for more to do, you can add the say direction block from the sounds category to program your bot to say the direction it turns on the pathway allowed or you can use different blocks from the movement and light categories to change how your bot celebrates. Or you can draw objects along your pathway for your bot to collect or avoid along the way. Come back again soon for our next lesson.